All right, good morning everyone. Wednesday morning and ready for this session. This is Wednesday morning circuits. So uh, live class is just getting themselves ready. We've got a big circuit to get through twice through this morning. We're gonna do a little warm up down on the floor. So you've got mobility warm up down on the floor. We'll come up, we'll do one minute cardio to get ourselves fully warmed up and then we're into the first circuit. So are you ready to work the whole body, to wake up the body, to energize yourselves ready for the rest of the day? Yep, we are. Let's get to it. Down on the floor, in box shape. Mobility warm up, box shape. All right, breathe into that box shape for a moment. Hands below shoulders, knees below hips, and start with a familiar cat cow. So allow your breathing to time the movement. Into cat stretch, drop it down into the cow stretch. Allow your breathing to time those movements, whether you breathe in on the way up and out on the way down, or the other way around, whatever feels right to you. Mobilizing the spine, feel that articulation of the spine as you tilt the pelvis underneath and then allow it to tilt the other way. Good. All right, take it back to neutral. Reset those shoulder blades so the shoulder blades are down. Take the left leg, lengthen it out, lift it up to the horizontal and lift out the right arm as well into that Superman position. So lengthen through to the fingertips and through to the toes. Check that neutral alignment again. Right, keep the arm where it is, but touch down with the toes and then lift back up. Again, touch down with the toes, lift back up. And once more, touch down with the toes, lift back up. Keep the arm where it is, bring the leg out to the side now. So reach out to the side, toes down, allow the foot to flatten. So you're in a lengthened arm position and then the leg is out in L shape. Just find that alignment, shoulder blades down, leg lengthened. Re-lengthen the spine, lengthen through the neck. Okay, you're gonna keep that leg where it is, place the hand on the floor, and then lift up through that left arm into that more familiar stretch. Lengthen through that arm, open through the chest and shoulder. Turn your vision to look up through the length of that arm. Good. All right, take that hand, place it back down on the floor. Bring that leg back through, reach it back out to the horizontal. So re-lengthen that back leg right out to the horizontal. Reset the shoulders. Touch down, up and down. So lifting up and over, touching down with the toes, lift it up and over with that left leg. Three, two, one. Lift it back up to the horizontal, refine that alignment again. And then with that left leg, which is lifted, can you sweep that knee through and bring it forwards into a kneeling stance and then push up and reach up high into that hip flexor stretch. There. Good. Circle the arms around on the floor. Took the toes on that back foot, lift up into that long sprinter stance. So lengthening that back leg now. So nice and long in that sprinter stance and allow that back, back ankle just to move forwards and backwards. So just get that movement through that back ankle, flexion through that ankle joint. There, perhaps pushing up onto the toes and then settle down into that long sprinter stance. Good. All right, from there, drop that back knee, keep that right hand on the floor and reach up high with the left into that rotational stretch again in this sprinter position. And then place the hand back down on the ground, bring that leg back through and refine box shape. Reset those shoulders, right leg is gonna lengthen along the floor, lift up to the horizontal, left arm lifts up into Superman on the other side. So Superman position, lengthen through to the fingertips again. Good. Keep the leg where it is, drop the toes down to the floor, lift it back up. Drop the toes to the floor, lift up, lower down and lift up, hold it there in Superman. Keep the arm where it is, bring the leg out to the side. Touch down with the toes, then allow that foot to flatten on the floor. So leg lengthen to the side, find that alignment. Arm lengthened forwards. Yep, so you can hold this position. There, good, place the left hand on the floor, lift the right arm up into that familiar stretch. Up high, open through the chest, breathe. Opening out the body, refinding that range of movement that you have through the chest and shoulder. 
Opening up the lungs as you breathe into that stretch. Good, place that hand back down, bring that leg back through, kick it right out to the horizontal again. And then touching down to one side and then lifting up over to the other. So up and over with that leg, bringing that work into the hip. Or bringing that mobility actually into the hip through working the glutes. Right, lift it back up to horizontal, hold it there for a moment, re-lengthen. And then that leg, that right leg that's extended, sweep it through, place foot down on the floor, and then lift up into that hip flexor, reach high. Again, open out through the body. Open through the ribs, through the lungs, through the shoulders. Good. Circle the arms around. Place the left hand on the floor, right arm then reaches up. Stretching up high. Good. Place that hand back down on the floor. Tuck the toes on the back foot. Lift up the knee off the floor into that long lunge position. Flexing out through the ankle, that back ankle, that being the left ankle, if you're doing this uh, on the same side as I am, just bringing that little bit of flexion through the ankle and then refine that strongest position in that long sprinter stance. Good. Let's see if we can take it from there, placing hands flat down on the floor. Step that foot back, but take it into a high plank position. So stepping back, and then shuffle around into a high plank position and hold that for a few moments. Good. So breathe that strength into the arms. That is a thing. You can breathe that strength into the arms. So nice deep breaths, breathing in that air, breathing that strength into the body. Good. Can we take that into a downward facing dog? So soften the knees perhaps a little bit and then push up with the hips. Lengthen the arms, shuffle the feet if you need to. Bring the hips up high. You would feel that length through the whole body, through both sides, through the arms, pushing through to the fingertips and gently allowing the heels to drop down to the floor. Good. Hold that there for a couple more breaths. From there, step it forwards into a spine stretch forward. So that, that forward fold. So step forward, feet together, stretching down to the toes, and then rolling it up through the length of the spine. So you're standing up tall, reaching high. Circle it around. Good, and shrug that out. Nice. Right, one minute to get our heart rate up, and then we're into a circuit. So we're going to start out with half jacks out to the side. So we're here for one minute. We might switch the movements around, but cardio movements team, let's get this going. Let's bring that heart rate up. So having mobilized the body, let's start to use it through these cardio movements. So from half jacks to full jumping jacks, if you can. From jumping jacks, take it into a run on the spot. So into a run on the spot. So then that run on the spot into something more like a mountain climber. So you can reach up with the arms, perhaps slow down the legs. So then that into a mountain climber. Climb a little higher. And then take that into feet flat on the floor, take it into a squat to press, squat down, press high. Last few mo moments here, and then we're going into our circuit, which, funnily enough, starts with a squat to press in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, team, that's us set up, ready to go for this circuit. So it starts with that squat to press, so get your dumbbells handy. We're going to use our timer. It's going to be 40 seconds work, 10 seconds change, and it's a long circuit. There's 12 stations. All right, a few moments just to get your weights ready. Squat to press coming up. So if you've got light weights or perhaps no weights at all, you could do a squat to press movement. Perhaps you do it onto a knee drive here. That would make it a lot more challenging. Or you could do a step squat like this. Or if you've got weights, do that press movement. 
Right team, we need to get going. Are we ready? Going in, five seconds. Squat to press coming up. Set up strong, 40 seconds, go. So making this exercise work for you, whatever weights you've got, wherever you want the focus to be. Using that strength through the legs. Good, yes. 15 seconds left. Five seconds left. We're going from this into in and out agility. So the heart rate's going to go up. You don't need your weights. There's your time. 10 seconds to set up. So in and out agility. That was you got the box on the floor. You step out. You step in. You drive with the arms. You wind it up. Go. 40 seconds. Thirty seconds. A bit quicker if you can. Just gonna couple over here and open the door. Getting pretty warm in here already. Twenty seconds. That seemed nice and quick here for the last ten seconds. So after this, we're going back into the legs. You're going into lunge backs. So that's a step back lunge. Last few seconds here. There's your time. So standing tall, we start with the feet together. You can do this with the dumbbells if you like. I'm going to do it without. We step back into the lunge, pull it all the way back up. Easy. But it'll add up that work. There's your time started. But that work will accumulate through this set. There. Yeah. And bringing your awareness to that whole movement. So a familiar exercise. So how much awareness can you bring to this movement? Anticipating that step back, anticipating that ankle as you step back, flexing as you touch down with the toes, just like you did on that sprinter stance a moment ago, maintaining that stability and alignment through that back leg, through the pelvis. Going down onto the floor after this, you've got a double leg extension. Right, so down onto the floor. Again, familiar movement. Bring your awareness to how you're holding the whole body, channeling that work into those abs. Go. So double leg extension here. Support the weight of the head if you need to. Gently tucking the chin towards the chest. You've got that added work through gently lifting the tailbone or that intention to lift the tailbone up off the floor. Feel that like deepening the abdominal work. You've got pullovers after this. There's time to go grab your weight for pullovers. Okay, so the arms are vertical to begin with. We lower down. Pull it back over, finding the range of movement that you want to work on. Finding the alignment of the legs brings the right amount of work for you. So aware of your alignment here. And the shoulders through the length of the spine. So you can always bring your focus just a little bit deeper. Increase that awareness. Take your focus to a different part of your body and just being aware of any tension that doesn't need to be there. There's your time to stop. We're into gecko. So rolling it over, high plank position, arms long, gecko, knee drive towards the elbow. Right, so if gecko is not really your thing, you could sub this for a plank. You could step out plank where you walk the feet out to the side and then walk them back. So a movement that works well for you. Bringing that squeeze into those obliques.
Let's land again, roll it over, you're into dips here. So it's a nice little combination, we're now into dips. Fingertips pointing towards the heels, lift up the foot off the floor, tricep dips, drop down, fully extend the arms. All right, there, so find that little squeeze in the triceps. All right. Oh yeah, this is that one. Convincing ourselves that we like tricep dips. little flexion in the arms all it takes to get the triceps burning all right keep it going last 12 seconds then we're back up on the feet we've got kettlebell squat followed by jumping jacks and then an overhead press so kettlebell squat after this nearly there oh there's your time yeah up we get grab your weight carefully kettlebell squat all right so i want that focus to be in the glutes now so the movement originates from pushing the hips back, forward folding through the hips. There, so you get that hinge from the hips and then drive it up, using that squeeze in the glutes. So notice the difference with this and the squat. So this is more about the hips rather than bending at the knees. Nice. And you get that stretch through the back of the leg as well. 10 seconds left here. Take it into jumping jacks after this. All right, so we can lose that weight. Into jumping jacks. All right, a few moments to set up. Uh, I'll start with some half jacks. Ready? Go. All right, and team, find your intensity. All right, so maybe you're smashing through this circuit this morning. Intensity is up high. Or perhaps you're measuring your effort, doing what's right for you, listening to your body. We're getting through this workout nonetheless. So jumping jacks here, 15 seconds left. You're going into an overhead press after this. 10 seconds left. The overhead press that's behind the head and driving up high with the dumbbells probably, or if you've got weight plates or something like that. All right, there's your time. Overhead press coming up. All right, stand strong. So I'm gonna take one dumbbell behind the head and up. Here we go, 40 seconds. Stand tall. A little aware of your posture. Behind the head, press up high. And it's a quite a simple movement. actually quite a lot that you can bring your awareness to through the alignment particularly through that lower back through the middle of the back through the shoulder blades as they settle down the back all right last couple of intervals we've got crisscross after this all right there's your time so we can lose the dumbbells back down on the floor crisscross start position all right, so for this one, I'm going to lengthen one leg, knee to opposite elbow, hold it there for a moment. So there's your classic crisscross position. I'm going to hold that position into a toe touch. Hold that there for a moment. Bring that leg back down. Bring the other leg through, back to your start position. Other leg, lengthens, holds, rotation through the torso. Toe touch position. Hold it there for a moment. Bring that leg down, other leg back through. There's your start position. All right, keep it going like that, emphasizing all of those positions. Hold it there just for a moment to bring your awareness as to how you're holding your whole body. There's time, bring it back through, roll it over. Last interval, of course, is a set of press-ups. Of course it is. Get ready, go. All right, so this set to finish this circuit. Press ups, just in case you didn't hear that. That's what we're doing. We're finding your best way to do press ups. Are you doing that full range of movement, all the way down, all the way up? Or perhaps it's smaller, quicker, pulsing movements at the top. 
bringing that squeeze into those working muscles. So however you're doing this, find a way that's effective for you. It's time. All right, take a little breather. Up we get. So that was your long circuit through. You get a moment to get your breath back. Then we've got our fast circuit through. Half the time, 20 seconds on each. Half the change over, five seconds change. Easy. All right. Five fast, we're ready to go. Ooh, it's quite warm here. It's that kind of still, almost muggy morning with a little bit of mist over out there. All right, then we're going to do this again. So 20 seconds on each one. You're going to have to be quick. Five second changeovers. Starting with a squat press. We're good for this, aren't we? Yep. Yep. We are. All right, squat press coming up. You've got to make this count. Live class, get yourself ready. Here we go. Time is 9.24, so we're going to finish with this. Going in five seconds. Tw uh, squat press. 20 second interval. Go. Squat. To press. So last run through. 20 seconds. So see how much work you can put into that short interval. 10 seconds left already. Five seconds left. You're going into in and out agility after this. So carefully putting those weights down now. There's your time. Five seconds to set up. In and out agility. You're in the box. You step out. You step in. Go. That's how quick you got to be. Live class, I know you're good for this. You're doing the recording, you got this. You're going to keep in time. You're going to keep that intensity up from in and out agility. You're going into lunge backs in a moment. There's time. Set it up, stand tall. Keep together. We step back into that lunge, bring it together. 20 seconds work, go. That intensity up, even if it's that intensity of focus. Eight seconds left. You're going down on the floor after this. Double leg extension, followed by pullovers. So get your weight ready for pullovers. There's your change. Down on the floor, double leg extension. Go. <laughs> Five seconds, I know. It doesn't give you very long. Double leg extension here. Followed by pullovers. There's your change. Set up carefully. Pullovers. Go. Making sure we've got that alignment right from the start. So swiftly moving from one to the next without rushing though and without allowing ourselves to reinforce poor form. After pullovers, we're going into gecko. Oh, there's your time. Roll it over into high plank, into gecko. Go. So we've got this nasty combination of gecko followed by dips. There's time, roll it over into tricep dips position, hands on the floor, lift your bum across the floor, and tricep dips, only 20 seconds. Oh, what a shame. Just 20 seconds worth of dips. So pack them in, as many as you can, in this 20 seconds, before we get up on the feet, and you're into kettlebell squat after this. Up you get, quick as you can, carefully grabbing your Kettlebell or whatever it is you're using. Kettlebell squat. Last five seconds. That's a real quick fire circuit into jumping jacks after this. There's your time. Set it up. 20 seconds jumping jacks. Right, what can you bring to this? Go. Ten 
10 seconds. Overhead press after this. Major time, overhead press, last three intervals. Set up, go, overhead press. All right, we are nearly there. All right, it's frantic. Good. Right, so after this, we've got crisscross, followed by a nice final set of press ups. Good. And then everyone's happy. We've worked the whole body, nothing's been left out. Major time down on the floor. Crisscross. Go. So again, bring that focus, that intention to the movement. That awareness, how you're holding your whole body. The strong, deliberate movement. And there's time, roll it over. Last set of press, it's only 20 seconds. Ready, go. So the last interval here, time is 9.29. So a very quick stretch after this. Last interval, packing all the work in this morning. Squeezing in all these rounds and working the whole body. There's your time, drop it back into child's pose, lengthening the arms. Well done. Nice. From child's pose. Take it around into seated. And we'll do our classic seated stretch forward. So legs out long, sitting up straight. Oh dear, let's see where the flexibility is at this morning. Breathe in. Exhale down to the toes. Good. Let's just spend a few moments here just to finish. Just trying to ease out any tightness through the back of the legs. And if you feel that there's a lot there, and there's not as much movement as you might hope or expect, you can spend longer after this. Good. All right, but from there, we're gonna bring that up. Find our way gently back up to seated or standard or kneeling, whatever position's good for you. And then I'm just gonna shake out the arms. Just gone 9.30, so Wednesday morning, midweek workout. We got our way through it. Well done team, whole body work. We're back in on Friday, usual time. I'll see you there. Good work.